Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we'll talk about the availability. So in context of system design interview, availability refers to the degree to which a system or component is uh, operational and accessible when required, uh, when required for use. It's usually measured as the percentage of uptime in a given uh, period. Um, high availability means the system is reliable, operational, and accessible over time, minimizing the chance the change the uh, change changes chances of downtime. So let's say that let's talk about what it means I have. Let's delete everything here. Let's assume that we have a server. Okay. And let's say that we have clients. <coughs> we have multiple clients. If I want to say this server is highly available, that means that any clients will send requests. It will. I will expect that the server will send all of them. Each one of them will send a response. No matter how many uh, how many uh, uh, requests that we have no matter where is the user is we don't care about that the system will continue to to serve all the clients so the thing that our server has uptime higher than the downtime uptime is like significantly higher so we expect that our system if i'm saying that our system is highly available i will expect to have something we call at least five nines what that means five nines so let's talk about the nines so um nines typically referred to um, uh, the percentages of uptime for example five nines availability which is this one means that uptime of uh, uh, five nines of, of um, five times availability means basically our system will be we expect our system to be down five point three minutes per year for each year and this is what we call a highly available system it has to be five nines so if our system is two nines it's, uh, it's available 99 percent of the time that means that we have 87 hours of downtime a year like it's like three or four days which is too much if we have four nines that means if we have four nines or oh, five nines mean five minutes four nines mean 52 hours like two days and a half or something like that so let's let's the, it's a crucial to understand what nines means a highly available system starts from five nines so we expect our system to be available most of the time in the year and we expect downtime only for 4.3 minutes a year so um let's talk about some characteristics about the availability we should understand let's make this way more smaller first thing that we do talk about the uptime and downtime I want to make this uh, green yeah uptime and downtime so availability is uh, uh, characterized by the amount of time a system is operational or like what we call the uptime versus the time is not which is the downtime high availability system have minimal downtimes as i can see here high availability system has five nines for uptime and it have like really low downtime and uh, other thing it's important about uh, high availability system which is the redundancy so high availability often involves redundancy at various levels servers or um, networks data storage etc so that if one component fails, another can take over without disturbing the service. Uh, we have the fault tolerance. Uh, so this involves designing a system that can continue functioning even when parts of it fails. 
It's about handling failures gracefully and maintaining operational continuity. Um, we have also um, some what we call failover mechanism. Um, so availability relies on effective failover mechanism where operations automatically switch to backup system or component in case of failure. That's also what can we can refer as a redundancy. Um, scalability. So uh, to maintain availability systems should be uh, scalable to handle various loads without degradation of performance. Um, late, uh, lastly, we want to talk about the monitoring and maintenance. Um, so um, continuous monitoring for um, early detection of issue and regularly maintenance is crucial in to ensure high available system. So let's talk about why we need to understand why understanding availability is quite important. Let's take another one here and I want to make it red and I want to make it numbers. And I want to say first we have the user um, expectations. So in today's fast paced digital world, users expect services to be continuously available. Understanding and ensuring high availability is crucial to meet these expectations and avoid user frustration. Um, other thing which is really important in my opinion, which is the business continuity. So high availability is critical for business continuity. Uh, continuity. continuity. Con um, so downtime can lead to significant financial loss, like damage, reputation, and customer dissatisfaction. We have system reliability as well. So availability is a key component of overall system reliability and quality. It's essential for building trust and uh, credible with users. It's 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 I would say it's a, your backbone. Lastly, we have the performance metrics. So availability is a, a quantifiable, quantifiable metric. It's often part of service level um, agreements, which is SLA, and is used to measure performance and reliability of IT services. Okay, so let's talk about what are systems that needs high availability. So I am right now in the system design interview. Which system I should expect to have high availability so i will say we have it's i will say first it depends not all the things that i'll say it will be all the time high availability. it depends on the requirements on your system design interview but i will say what are the key points uh, when i hear them i see okay I'm, I'm designing a high availability system so first if i am designing um a social media network like facebook or i'm designing like uh, streaming uh, like uh, streaming service like um, YouTube okay uh, I'm designing like a key value store like a no SQL database I'm designing um, let's say e-commerce if I'm designing e-commerce downtime can directly impact sales and customer experience social media if you are going to see YouTube um, or Facebook I expect to be able all the time to see posts um, <coughs> and videos on YouTube and the NoSQL database I need a, a, um, a database to be highly available and also I need it to be scaled quite easily um, also it's uh, in, in content delivery networks Oh, no. Yeah. No. And content delivery networks. Also, it's um, like CDNs must be available to serve content to users globally without interruption. Um, it's also um, um, we could use a highly available system in the cloud services and data centers. So these services should uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, these services from the backbone of many businesses operational and need to be highly available. Um, I would say um, some financial services, but most of the financial services will prefer like in, in, in terms of system design, you will probably be more towards the uh, uh, co um, uh, highly uh, highly uh, uh, consistent system instead of highly available system 
in, in, a, in, a, in a future video I will make a difference between both so yeah um, in system design interview discussing availability involves uh, talking about strategies uh, strategies to uh, achieve high uptime such as implementing load balancing redundancy failover system and uh, regular maintenance it may also include a discussion on monitoring tools and uh, producer for quickly addressing issues that could impact availability and understanding availability is essential for designing systems that meet the reliability requirements of business and their customers. So that's it for today's video and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you in future problem.